Oh God, no. Good morning, Sicily. Good, good morning, Sicily. Morning, Sicily. <laughs> We've come into Scopello town to get a sandwich. Found something on Instagram, so now it's famous. Yeah, but every, no, but the reviews say like it's a must. Right. So we came here last night for dinner. It's even prettier in the day actually, isn't it? This is Scopello town, it's tiny. It's a village, probably a village actually. Yeah, it's a village, yeah, you're right. But it's really beautiful, we had such a nice meal. I'll put some pictures in and stuff of um, the view. And it was my favourite pasta we had yet. Was what about you? Yeah, it was lovely. So we went this archway through here. That's where we had dinner. Then we had gelato here. Have you had a good holiday so far? No, it's been awful. How's the company been? Lovely. This is the place here. Pan Panificio. I can't. I can't say that. Fingers crossed. Pray for a good sandwich for me. Okay. That literally has made my whole trip. What? The little numni in the back, the fact they don't speak English. Okay, so we went for a feast because we just kind of need to try everything. <gasps> no. Okay, so this is like a pizza bread and then this is the classic. I can't remember what it's called. It's like the classic Sicilian cheese, tomato and anchovies. It's like a bread with tomato paste on it, isn't it? Please just have one bite. Right. This is our view back down. David's been acing the driving. Oh, acing, such an awful word, isn't it? Miranda. Have you enjoyed driving? Loved it. You have done really well, to be fair. That sandwich was absolutely mind blowing, as was this pizza slab thing with tomato paste. I just don't know what it was that they did. And it was the fact that they didn't speak English at all. I had to fully order in the worst, most embarrassing Italian ever. I mean, how stunning is that? Good afternoon. <laughs> Good state of me. We're back at the hotel now. I've just had a shower and I thought we could do a little, like a little debrief of what's been going on, what we've been up to. This is essentially like honeymoon part one. We don't know when part two or if part three is and when might be happening, but we couldn't think of like one big thing that we wanted to do. We knew we wanted to come to Sicily at some point and do like a drive around trip. And we've also really liked to do a long weekend in Vegas. However, the current situation of the world means I think we might just need to hold on for a little bit longer. So we arrived to Catania on Friday, last Friday. Picked up a hire car and we drove to a place called Notto, which is slightly south of where we got married. Stayed in this really gorgeous little B&B slash hotel type thing. Had a lovely pool day um, on the first day, which was lush. Had some lunch around by the pool. And then this, <laughs> stay with blowing his nose in the shower. Then on the second day, we did this hike around the national reserve which was honestly incredible i didn't think i was a hiking type of gal but turns out i am and i loved it it was absolutely insane it was this huge mountain that you drove up and i said to david one minute if we're driving up this high that means we're hiking down which means we're gonna have to hike back up we got the most perfect weather on the way down it was beautiful not too hot and then on the way up, once we'd taken all the, our pictures and like dipped in the water, well, I dipped my feet in the water, David like full on swam. It started raining on the way up, which was actually just bliss because we were sweating and we were so hot that it felt really nice and cool. Then one of the evenings we went to, that evening we went to a place called Mars and I highly recommend, really beautiful little like old tuna factory farm. Old tuna factory farm? Old tuna fishing village or something? I don't know but beautiful. Okay, I can't really remember, but one of the evenings we went back to Ortesia, which is the area that we like went to every night when we had like the wedding weekend. Our hotel was really close to Ortesia, so that it was like our, it's always been like our place. Had the most gorgeous meal in our little favorite restaurant. And then we got in the car and drove to a place called Enna. 
which is kind of like halfway across to where we are now. Checked into this b, &B. <laughs> Oh God. Let me just preface this chat by saying we have actually had the best time. We've done nothing but laugh, but fuck me, has that not been without some hotel drums? Just telling everyone the story of what we've been doing so far. Mm -hmm. About to get to the Mental Institute. <laughs> then we drove to a place called Enna. At that day it was raining constantly, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it was hammering it down when we got there, yeah. Yeah, it was hammering it down when we got there. And the... What? We're not allowed to have something set. <laughs> How long are you going to be wrestling for? Right, anyway, when we arrived, the only way I can describe it, it, it reminded me of the Ozarks, don't you think? Enna. That's what you thought got vibes from. No, it was, you said as well, when I said it, you were like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very Ozark, it was beautiful, but because it was raining and quite grey and glum, it just had this, like, air about it. We turned up to the B&B. When we walked into the room, I was like, to put it blunt, I think I, I was horrified, wasn't I? Yeah. I it was the it. weirdest, quirkiest decor I have ever seen in my life. And it reminded me of a scene from, like, a mental institution institution next to my bed was like this hanging cage thing there was huge two chalk walls it was split into two rooms there was like a kid's room and the chandelier was made out of crayons like stuck together with a piece of string on that wall it said something like <coughs> wasn't it like rose mario spirit is with us it reminded me of that scene what's that film with angelina jolie put her in a mental in institute and then they spray her with that hose. Lara Croft. No, not Lara Croft. Angelina Jolie when her kid goes missing. They do it in all the mental mental hospitals. Don't need to check there's nothing hidden up your bum or something. <laughs> That's what the bathroom reminds me of. Anyway, Mr. I... Mrs. Smith. No, David. I'm just saying Angelina Jolie. Yeah, we'll just start. We've moved on. Anyway, I was spooked out. It was raining. It was grey. This room was just like... Was she in Fast and Furious? David! <laughs> I think she was, wasn't she? I was completely freaked out. Like, I couldn't even take my shoes off. We all know I can't put my feet on a hotel floor anyway. I bring my slippers with me everywhere. But I could not even remove my shoes. I just sat on the chair on the side, did some work whilst David had a nap because he was just like, you're weird. That night we went for dinner upon recommendation by Marika. She recommended us this restaurant. The restaurant was incredible. It, <coughs> everyone in there was Italian. Hardly spoke any English. The menu was completely in Italian. And we had the most amazing pizza, didn't we? Yeah, it was We had two, two pizzas, one quattro stagioni and one, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like spicy salami with parmesan, mozzarella. Parmesan, mozzarella, three cheeses, basically. I'm trying to drink red wine to like relax me because all I can think about in my head is that we're going back to this hotel. Were you vibing that I was like on edge whilst yeah. we were having dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We leave the restaurant, we cross over the road to get to the car park and we walk past this hotel. And David made a joke and said, oh, why don't you, you should have seen how much that was for tonight. We could have gone there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made a joke about it and then I was like, Please. I looked on booking.com and it was like 70 pounds to stay. It was just like a three star hotel. It was just like a premier inn type thing. We pull up to the B&B. It's dark at this point. And in the hire car, there's this sensor that if you get too close to something, it just automatically cuts out the brake. So David's driving, pulls right up to the door. And then out of nowhere, it just bangs the brake because it had hit, like hit a soft branch. Well, that was it because it spooked me then i just started crying out of nowhere and had like a panic <laughs> it doesn't even sound like remotely rational when i say it back yeah well there you are yeah so then i had basically had a panic attack and then by the time we'd even made it up the stairs david was like right should we just go i said yeah cool because i've already booked it packed up all of our stuff went and stayed in this hotel <laughs> that was the first proper night sleep i had since we got here uh we were laughing at this point you were fuming for about three and a half minutes i think and that was it weren't you? Yeah. And then we drove here. It was a really long drive, beautiful scenery, stopped off on like um, a petrol station and they had this van outside with some really cool like pastries and lovely coffee. So we had a croissant filled with lemon, something stunning and a coffee. And then we drove to where we are now, which is Scopello. I had a lush day at the beach, didn't we? And then we were on this very spot in our room I'm doing my makeup, like really excited for the night. Like it's one of the best things about going on holiday. You got your snacks, 
David's got a podcast in his ear next to him. I turned to look at him and he started laughing, like nervous laughing. I was like, what? And very often will he laugh at his podcast and then show me the bit that he was laughing at. So that's all I expected. And he said, I've just seen a mouse. But because he was laughing and I am petrified of mice and rats, I thought it was a joke. I thought he was winding me up. I thought it was a joke. He was like, I honestly have just seen a mouse. It's gone behind the bag. So then when I realized it was serious, I fucking shoot up onto the bed. He like had to guard that area so that the mouse didn't shoot across. He placed my slippers there, opened the door, and I I literally flew from the bed out to the courtyard. I was shitting myself. Okay, yeah, I know it's a mouse, it's tiny, it's more scared of me, blah, blah, blah. But I, I absolutely hate them. I've always been petrified. Just the worst thing that could have happened. David's now shut the mouse in the bathroom. I'm in the courtyard thinking, we're gonna have to leave this hotel now. He's gonna divorce me. I can't make him do that. They couldn't move our room because they're fully booked. And then I was like, right, you're just gonna have to get over it. We went and <laughs> when we woke up in the morning, we went to go to breakfast. And then Marika and Antonella had organized a surprise balcony breakfast for us overlooking Scopello um the hotel like where the hotel is and it was absolutely stunning and we just had a really lovely time so that softened the blow a little bit and then i just we went to reception and i said look there was a mouse last night please can we have the bathroom cleaned she's like yeah yeah of course of course it's not fucking been cleaned but my feet have not touched any any part of this hotel even before we saw the mouse so anyway started crying about the mouse as well because i was like oh, i just hate them so much they're so scary. <laughs> so yeah, that brings us to today. We're on our final night. It just skips the whole one and a half days we've been here since this morning. Oh yeah, wait, what else happened? Well, we just had two lovely days on the private beach. The beach is stunning. So we had a beach day yesterday and then went into Scop Scopello town last night. Had the best meal overlooking this like insane view. Then went to Gelato. Scopello is gorgeous, like tiny little village. And then today, we've had a full beach day today, haven't we? Yeah. Apart from what you've seen with the sandwich. And then that brings us to today. So I only missed out one day. Tomorrow we head to our final destination for the last three nights. And that is actually where Marika got married. I don't know if I was vlogging then, was I? Fingers crossed for no more mice. I'm never coming on holiday with any foundation other than this one. For an evening, when it's been hot, even if it gets cooler at night, this is just the absolute best. I don't know why it's not focusing. Right, I thought I'd be brave and stand up for long enough to show you our snacks, because it's very important. Forgot to tell you that two of the days we went to a Italian supermarket, which was an absolute peak highlight. First of all, these are the salty snack sticks that David's just been battering. I had to take them. He asked me to take them away from him. Then we got these, they're like little chocolate hazelnut waffle things unbelievable in fact one of the days we had a little coffee on the balcony and david went and grabbed a couple of these and we like dipped them in the coffee it was just delicious these are chili crisps i've not tried these yet the classic lays can you do a holiday without them these remind me of bn 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 do 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 one biscuit is plain one biscuit is cocoa or cacao and then it's got chocolate cream inside i did perhaps buy this for the packaging because I'm obsessed with it. But I also really do love these um, fingers and they always remind me of when mum used to make tiramisu back in the day and they're delicious. So we'll have one of those in a sec. David bought these because he wanted some crackers because he bought some salami and cheese, but that's in the fridge. These Kinder cards. So it's, I don't know, two wafery type biscuits with Kinder cream inside. They're very delicious. Fizzy cola sherbet sweet. So cola, hard boiled sweet with cola sherbet inside. And then some Frutella frizzy bites. Is that everything? I think that's pretty much everything we got. I also bought this lemon soda mojito drink and some peach iced tea, but I've battered that. Give us your outfit. Lurkers. Yeah. Black shorts from Zara, I think, maybe. Yeah. This is from Next, I think. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Ray Ban. Pizza. Salami, mushrooms, cheese. Salela, tomato. 
I got the same, but I added anchovies and olives. This looks nice, but it doesn't look as nice as the pizza in Enna, does it? Would you say? I just said to Davide that the third cheese that was on that pizza I spoke about the other night was gorgonzola. Pays off to be a morning wanker. Good morning. How do you say good morning in America? Buena. In American. Um, in Italian. What is it again? Buongiorno. It's twenty past eight in the morning, and I'm eating ice cream. And you think, why, you fat pig? <laughs> because Tresca came here after the wedding with her boyfriend, and they stayed here for a few nights. And she sent me a photo of this white chocolate and pistachio ice cream. And I have literally been thinking about it every day since. However, I kind of texted her too late to ask where it was from. And then by the time we got there last night, it was closed and it opened at 7 a.m. this morning. So on our way out, I was like, this is my one opportunity to get it to try. I mean, it was worth it, but classic me, I've had like three mouthfuls and I'm done now. Do you want some more? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Uh, the bakery in there was unreal. Couldn't help but get one of these big sausage roll things with like sesame seeds on the top. And also, the breakfast at our hotel was pretty wank, wasn't it? Don't you think? Well, oh, come on, it was it wank. It was nice, it just wasn't a lot. What do you mean, it wasn't a lot? The choice was a croissant or a donut. What should we do with this now? Eat it. All of it. Let's share. Yeah, and it's... You better fucking eat it. <gasps> I'm cutting that out because people will call it RSPCA. As disgusting as it is that I ordered an ice cream at this time in the morning, not one person bat an eyelid in there, did they? No. Okay, you're going to fall off the dashboard. Bye. Life is a highway. <laughs> I want to ride it all night long. Look at that. We have arrived at Masseria Susafa. I hope I like our room, do you? <laughs> Let me show you them there. The wine cellar, fridge, whatever you call it. Yeah. Well, glass. Imagine having that in your house. Dream. We've come in here for lunch, and I actually cannot cope with how pangers the menu is. <laughs> Pull the face. Look at this starters Sicilian tomato salad. Burrata, zucchini, cheese and meat, pasta, main course, and then these are all sandwiches. Toasted salted almonds, fresh sheep ricotta and honey. And when we came here for Marika's wedding in 2019, which is still to this day the best food. So why are you picking your chin? Please stop, please. Can you stop, your mama hugger? <sighs> Anyway, it was the best food ever, but they did this show cooking thing with ricotta, honey and salted almonds and I've honestly thought about it every day. Do you remember it? I literally pissed my pants over it. I look like a burrata cheese. Do you think? No, you look lovely. Do you think I look like an ugly ball of mozzarella? You do when you do that. <laughs> you look like a child when you do that. Am I a tomato salad? No, you know when you look like when you do that. You look what? like the... Uh, the, the wicked uh, stepmother, no, witch in Snow White. Oh, she's ugly. Yeah, well, yeah, I told you I was ugly. Yeah, well, when you do that face, not now. <laughs> Bread made with local grains, and then I touch the bag and it's warm. Oh my god, look at that. This is also their olive oil made from the made from their own olive trees. What's the verdict then, Batman? Oh yeah, listen to that crunch. Glorious. I'm about to eat the thing that I have been dreaming of every single day since 2019. This sandwich filled with ricotta, honey, and salted almonds. <laughs> no, silly. David, David, I actually could cry. I think I could cry. I no, let my eyes water in that.
David thinks this one's better. This is pistachio pesto, prosciutto, I don't think that's how you say it, and lemon. Sliced, very thin sliced, very thin full sliced slices thing. of lemon. It's outrageous. <laughs> Tastes like a pancake, doesn't it? It's outrageous time. <laughs> We've just checked into our room and it is it's unbelievable, isn't it? This is the door you walk in through. This is what you see when you walk in. This is the bed. Well, our luggage is there. Massive bed. I don't know why I sometimes do that because I think you'll be able to see, but the proportions are out. Oh my gosh, have you seen this kettle? That's a ceramic kettle. All right, we'll get one of those. <clears throat> What's in here? <gasps> What's in there? Oh. Tease. Loose teas. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Look, you put the tea in your tea bag, create your tea, and there's some local honey there. That is silly good. Beautiful coffee machine. <gasps> Look. I'm all for the branding. Safe. <gasps> oh, there's more drink. There. All of the wardrobe space. Some throws, there's four throws in here, none of which I will be touching, but wow, massive shower. This is the bathroom. Unbelievable. Huge bath. Oh my gosh. A bidet. A bidet. Let's do the test of all ultimate tests in a hotel. It is the sniff of the towel test. Are you ready? Eight out of ten. Will use. I'll use. Uh, eight is the minimum I'll use. Okay. What are you laughing at? You still filming? You done? How do you want to finish it? <laughs> Bye! Three ways to tell if I love a hotel. One, if I don't use my own towel that I've brought. Two, if I wear the robe. Oh, I can't remember what the third one is. <laughs> I think that's it, just the two things. I'm gonna try my spicy crisps. We gusto il gusto vivace. It's a hard graft to get a good chili crisp. Smells so far like paprika. Okay, I'm not getting spice. Oh no, they're not spicy. They taste paprika y. Right. Want to know what it says on the back? Chips gusto paprika. <laughs> so in fact, yeah. Does that not let you? Does that not make you think there's going to be a spice there? This is actually the first full-length mirror we've had in any hotel. My outfits have been trashed the whole holiday, but I just thought I'd show you just because it's the only mirror. Very old bodysuit from Zara, which I'm a bit self-conscious that I don't have a bra on, but I also equally don't give a shit. And then these are my linen Abercrombie trousers. And I would put my little heels on, but so what's the point? You need to say it in a Welsh accent. He's going for the knocky. Look how beautiful dinner is. Dinner setting. Stunning, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, is that the coffee? It is. Oh my gosh, thank you very much. <laughs> is that honey? Yep. Yes, Sharon is caring. Mm. 
this is my cocktail, but I think that's fried pineapple, you know. They didn't have a margarita on the menu, but this had tequila in it. Have you seen the size of this? <laughs> good morning, neighbours! How was your sleep? Very good. How was your evening, actually? Lovely. Bloody lovely. Bloody lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, I had a good sleep, but I... <sighs> I still woke up at half four. I've woken up at half past four every single night that we've been here. I look horrendous. Do you want to go to breakfast, sir? Yeah. Come on in. Still a bit windy today, but I will show you the grounds. Like, can you see that view down there? Can you imagine how good that view is going to be when I can walk you down there? I love nothing more than a fantastic breakfast burger. I know, that's probably that lemon ricotta stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Buongiorno. Oh my god. Oh yes, look at the cheeses. And that cheese from last night? No, I don't think so. There's a couple of cheeses from last night. Yeah, they haven't got the... Oh my god, yeah, look at those hams. Savoury cake with salami, oh my goodness. Of course, numero uno, toasted some bread. This is the homemade bread we had yesterday. A slice of every piece of ham, two slices of cheese, some grapes and some honey. A juice from the juice machine and a coffee. <laughs> we will munch it. Do you know what it feels like? It's gonna be like a donut mixed with a brioche. Mm. You're gonna love that. It's like a Sicilian custard slice. Oh really? Is it not lemon? <laughs> no. Oh fantastic. <laughs> yes. So number two for me is a croissant with Nutella. David's gone for cheese and so on. Look at this. Very is it foggy or misty? What's the difference? The sun's trying to come out, it is trying to push through. Yeah, yeah, what would you rate breakfast out of ten? Probably give it a nine. Any you, any criticism as to why it's not a ten? Um, what would you have added to make it a ten? Sausages. Yeah, fair. Yeah, like and the the cooked breakfast options. I do. What do you want a full English fryer? Well, no, but I'll put some <laughs> sausages in there. There's a sausage. This is leading down to the pool area. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! <coughs> that is gorgeous. Isn't it? Mm. Oh my god, look at the um look at those sun loungers. Jesus. Look how clean that looks. Oh my goodness. Look at the little pumpkins. I'm not a massive pumpkin lover, are you? I want to see Bruno. Who don't we talk about? Bruno. Guess what we're off to do? A Sicilian cooking canal. Are you excited? Yeah, excited. You're shit at cooking, though. Yeah. But you might be end up being really good now. No. Why? One dish, maybe. I think we're make. I think we're making caponata. It's what she, she did say that, didn't she? Really. I wasn't sure if she said something like caponata or if she said caponata. Oh my god. Such a good start. Yeah. Very good, yes. Cracking job then. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Wow. 
an absolutely tragic place to Sunday. You're not asleep because you closed your eyes about 20 seconds ago. Yeah. Leon. Talking to the camera. Talking to you as well. Right. Simultaneously. Does that mean two things at the same time? Yeah. Are you having a good time? It's buzzing. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it feels so lucky. We just had lunch. I actually had exactly the same as yesterday, which is very unlike me. But we only have two more lunches here and I just knew that I wanted to have the ricotta and honey again. David got tomato basil or something. So tomorrow we might try a different one, I just don't know. Had a lovely sunbathe down on the beach, down on the beach, down on the sea, down on the pool, by the pool area. And we've actually just come to sit outside our room now. David's sunbathing, H happy as a pig and shit. And I am about to do a little bit of editing and then Marika, her husband, and her little baby, Juliana, are actually on their way because they're also coming to spend the night here, which is so cute because we're going to have dinner together and um, spend a bit of time with them, which would be lovely. And it, this is where they got married. doing our makeup we had a lovely afternoon Marika arrived with the baby and her husband and uh, we were just playing with Juliana came came back to the room had a nap and I've actually been editing this no tomorrow's vlog which will be up by now it's making no sense basically I'm editing my Sicily pack with me vlog and watching me pack all of this makeup and pack all of my clothes that I've not worn and not used thinking you're an actual idiot. But lesson learned for next time. Do you know, I think rather than paying or buying any new clothes, I would rather pay someone to come around to my house and sort an, an outfit for every single occasion of my holiday, like piece together what I already have, and I'll take pictures of what I have or what I'm wearing, rather than buy a single new item of clothing. That's what I'm gonna do on my next holiday, 100%. I'm just not doing it again. Because I just can't do this fashion thing. Do you know why you must love me so much? Right. Because you've been wearing your hotel slippers the whole time. Mm -hmm. You look fantastic. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, when you have a car. Sasha, don't talk to me anymore as you're getting blind. Okay? Uh. <laughs> Good. Mm, is it still the morning? What time is it? Yeah, just just about good morning i am indeed in knitwear because the weather is actually the sun is out it's just very windy and the wind is chilly we had a lovely dinner last night and last night typically with one but sleep one uh what am i trying to say penultimate night. <laughs> the penultimate night i sleep the best i have since we got here so i slept from i think i fell asleep at 10 didn't i yeah or half ten slept till half past three but woke up for what felt like 10 minutes and then fell back asleep until seven so that was beautiful then we had breakfast which you saw yesterday so had the same thing although we did all the pancakes today i had fluffy pancakes david had crepes and we're having lunch with marika and mirko before they go and then it's our last night here we go home and see the boys oh shit we need to write marika's card <gasps> That's the same. <laughs> We've come out to watch one final sunset. Absolutely unbelievable. For our final dinner, we've got the table in front of the fire. You've just held it up like it was the golden snitch from Harry Potter. You try it. Parmesan ball it is. Jesus. I can smell it. Yeah, it smells like the um, the bits, like the crispy bits. From a toasty machine that you peel off. Oh my god, look at the inside of that. How good does that look? says you scoop it up like you've got it from Chip Alley in Cardiff. Do, do, do. 
Hey, where's your ravioli? <laughs> Did I do this last night though? Can't remember. Goodbye, incredible, stunning place. So long, farewell. Do you know what musical that's from? Not really. Yes, how did you get that? We've packed up, everything is ready to go. The car's been brought round the corner and we have to get up. <laughs> We're getting up at half past four in the morning and it's 20 past 10. I could cry at the thought of seeing the boys. I miss them so much. I don't actually ever wanna go longer than 10 days ever again without them. I'm gonna leave that here for the Sicily honeymoon part one vlog. Sorry I only filmed like half of it, but hopefully you'll still enjoy. David, do you wanna say goodbye to the vlog? Say ciao. Ciao. <laughs> ciao.